supermarket tango. People pushed their baskets, and my ass gets stuck in the middle of a domesticated dance <coughs> floor. Senora, where are the platanos verdes? I just want la sopa. Quiero la leche, por qué? I only ran in for a few things. But I am being caressed more times through basket brushes than church ladies. Damn. Mi bolsa is clung tight near my breast as I gather a pond. Shifting my body around, back and forth and so forth, to accommodate another's next move, to reach the cough drops or something, is like a dance indeed. But all I want is what I need. Marsha McLuhan was a communications philosopher who believed such was true. In fact, he even took something as simple as a light bulb and related that to communication. If you think about it, a light bulb sits in a room idly all day, but it allows us to communicate long after night has passed. You sit and you talk to somebody, but that light illuminates what you're saying, essentially. We as people are mediums. We share our message, right? It's up to us to think of how other mediums affect the way we view the world, because we are affected by such. Think of a celebrity. A celebrity has to overcome adversity. To reach to the top, he has to go and get like several record deals if he's a singer or something like that. And if you think about it, they think, oh my gosh, is my record going to make the top hit? Eventually, it does, and us fans are born. But the fans really spring from media itself. People tell other people about how they heard about this artist, and they flock to the message because it creates a oneness between the celebrity and themselves. <laughs> they think, I like this person's message. They have a certain power over us because they are celebrities. If you think about it, celebrities have a very big power because they make a lot of money, they drive around in their awesome rich cars, and they seem so above us. So we can't really understand them, per se, but we connect with them because we ourselves, like, we admire them. Then there's poets. As you may see, I am a poet, as I've prefaced this with a poem of my own. Poets, they tend to resonate deeper with us because they, like us, are regular people. They can tell you about, like, the price of a gallon of milk or the basic struggle they went through yesterday, but the only difference is that they're on a soapbox speaking about their issues. When you go to a slam or something, you're experiencing a very big oneness with the poet because they're very passionate about what they're speaking. They're not influenced so much by media and pop culture. They just say whatever the hell they want to. <laughs> and people snap, they clap, and you just hear a collective amen, basically, because we can understand. They understand us more so than a celebrity because a celebrity has a certain distance, but we understand them because they are regular people just like us. Then there is you. Imagine you two are in a supermarket or something, and you just want to get the apples, but some lady who smells like catnip, who had been divorced from her husband for like 20 years, is like, don't get those apples. Macintosh is awful. I heard that there was a worm in it the other day. You don't really want to listen to her, because all you want to do is move on and maybe get the bread or something. Like. You're like, why is this woman talking to me? I'm allergic to cats. You're constantly sneezing because you really have other things to do and you don't really want to talk to some old lady. But you're going to listen to her. You're going to listen to her because she's on your same level. Even if she is older than you, she's still a person. She still feels affected by the same things you do. And it resonates with us because we are all people who go through the same struggles. However, with these different levels of communication, we seem to think that there's that barrier. Like I said, with celebrities, they've achieved their fame by rising to the top and overcoming adversity. But if you think about it, they never climb down the stair step of success. They never become somebody driving around in a beat up BMW, per se. They will always stay on the top. Their names will always be heard. 
But us, as regular people, we just go about our day, sharing each other's stories, listening to each other. We are each other's mediums. So it's up to us to decide what is real and what is not, and to decipher the change and the differences in each medium, to know whether or not what somebody is saying is true based on the words they say and how they say it. People push their baskets, and my ass gets pushed around and shoved around this domesticated dance floor. Senora, where are the platanos verdes? I just want la sopa. Quiero la leche, por qué? I just ran in for a few things. But I'm being caressed more times through basket brushes than church ladies on a Sunday morning. Mi bolsa is clung tight to my breast as I gather el pen, shifting my body around back and forth and so forth to accommodate another one's move as they try to get the cough drops or something is like a dance indeed. But all I want is what I need. Do you see a change? I am your medium. How do you feel? Thank you. <laughs>